We're also going to do some uh, easy tests on these generators. It's a brushless generator, so basically, when you first come to it, just check between the live and the neutrals on each one. So, on that one's 2.6, it's telling me all the plug wiring and that winding on the stator is good. If you're getting a short, it's bad. And if you're getting an open circuit like that, it's bad. You want to check the wiring inside there, and then ultimately it might be the state of Gonzo. That's a proper failure. <laughs> and go on the other side, this one will be a lot smaller. Oh, you have to flip the switch first. So it was the wrong one then. So, same again, that's a good reading. So, I know that the state is pretty good on this, so i will be suspecting the capacitor on this now, or the, the capacitor winding. So, to do that I'm going to have to take this plug off, so I'll get set up for that. So there you go. I've took that plug socket off, took the wires off the capacitor, and I'm just testing the winding, that's 5.5. I mean, I'd be worried if it was a short or open circuit. I don't know the exact readings for these windings, but if you look on your name plate, get your name of your generator and get the manual for it, that'll tell you all the specs. So that's the generator, the capacitor windings on it. So next, last thing, I'll just test the capacitor. Sorry, not the last thing, the last thing is the rotor. So I'll just test the capacitor there. But if you look on the side, it will tell you the capacitor reading. Don't seem to, so. <laughs> so, it doesn't actually tell you on there. I thought it did, but you have to get your manual out and have a look. Or take the capacitor out and have a look on the side of it. Well, there's the capacitor. And if you can see it, I'll get this torch. Just there, there are them wires, them terminals there. So I was going to test between them terminals and check it for marker farad. Okay then, so I've got them on and it's reading 15.5, so it's supposed to be 16, but that's close enough for me. So you should get an aimed reading and you can check it with your manual specs. Can be hard to read. So 5.4 ohms on that, and that is good according to the specs. So that's it, just easy checks. If any of them are gone, if your state is gone or your rotor has gone, replace them, or your capacitor, you're hoping it's your capacitor really.